Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss the union of sets, and we have taken two sets as an example, and we will find the union of these two sets. First of all, we need to understand the term union. If we just see the meaning of these union, it can be said to unite and to to combine, and the, the similar concept goes in the concept of sets. And we will just combine these two sets, and uh, we will uh, solve them with the following process. Uh, like uh, I want to find A union B, and this union is actually denoted by this U type of shape. This is A union B, and first we will uh, write the value of A. It is one, two, three and then we will place union signs in between them and then we will write 4, 5, 6 so uh, as I dis discussed earlier a union means to combine these two sets so we will just combine these two sets it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this is the union of these two sets suppose uh, if uh, we have uh, different sets suppose this is C and the value of C is uh, 4, 5, 6 and there is another set whose value is 5, 6, 7 so now when we, uh, when we will calculate the value of C union D it would be the value of C then the symbol of the union and then the value of D 5, 6, 7 now if you see if we combine them uh, there are a few elements which are common like 5 is in C as well as in D and uh, there is also 6 which is in C as well as in D so when we will be combining these two sets we will just uh, take them as a single element because if we repeated them then we will violate the basic definition of the set that it should have distinct elements so we will just write five, 4 then we have two 5's but we will just write one 5 then the 6 and then the 7 so this is how we perform the union of two sets now we will discuss the intersection of two sets I suppose uh, this is intersection intersection of two sets and again I will take two sets as an example suppose I have one three five and the other is three five seven so intersection are basically those elements which are common in both uh, both in a and b uh, so we'll just write uh, a then inverted u it's kind of inverted u and this is used this symbol is used for intersection so it is read as a intersection b this is equals to first we will write the value of a it is 1 3 5 and uh, then I'll write uh, just put the value, uh, symbol of intersection between them and then I'll write the value of b and now as uh, I have already told you that the intersection means the common elements so we will just write the common elements so we just if we circle encircle the common elements this is 3 and then the other common element this is 5 so this is our intersection and when we have no element in common we say that these two sets are disjoint suppose uh, let's consider another example we have C this is 3 5 7 and we have a set D and uh, that is 2, 4, 8 and when we find its intersection we will see that there are 3, 5, 7 and the intersection then D is 2, 4, 8 now if you look uh, at these two sets then we uh, see that there is no common element so the set will be the empty set because it contains no element so the C intersection D is actually empty and then C and D will be called disjoint sets 
So this is how we calculate the union and the intersection of sets. Now uh, we will uh, look on another operation which is performed on sets and that is the difference of two sets. So two sets. Again, uh, I'll just take a few examples. I have one, two, three, four, and the set B is two, three, four. And now I want to calculate A difference B. Uh, there are different notations which are used for difference. Uh, some people like uh, just write hyphen or minus sign to represent the difference and sometimes it is backslash which is used for the difference and we can uh, just write a difference b or we can write this way this is a difference b again we will first write the value of a it would be 1 2 3 4 and then we will uh, write the uh, negative sign or minus sign hyphen sign difference sign you can say anything and then the value of b this is 2 3 4 so actually uh, the difference means those elements of A which are not in B, those elements of A which are not in B. So just cancel out these elements, 2 will cancel out 2, 3 will cancel out 3 and 4 will cancel out 4. Now all we have to do is to see what is left behind in the first set that is A. And so 1 is left there so the difference is 1. Now I want to calculate B minus A suppose, then I'll just write the value of B, 2, 3, 4, then minus 1, 2, 3, 4, and again I'll cancel the same elements, like this, and now there is nothing left in the first set, so the difference will be empty set. Again I'll emphasize that the answer will be those elements which are left in the first set, we don't have to consider the second set. We will just uh, look at the first set. And uh, let me explain it with uh, another example. Suppose now I have a set uh, which is, uh, suppose I have C, this is A, B, C and D. And I have another set that is D and which has B, C, D, E and I want to calculate C minus D again I'll write the value of C it is A, B, C, D then different sign then B, C, D, E now I'll just uh, cancel the same elements B will be cancelled with B C will be cancelled with C and D will be cancelled with D. Now, which is left uh, in the first set, as you can see, that is A. So the answer will be A. There is something left in the set, second set, but we don't look at the second set. We just uh, we just uh, look at the first set, and uh, the answer is A. Uh, now, I, when I calculate D minus C, so D minus C will be actually first. We will write the value of D. This is B C D E then different sign, then the value of C, the value of C is A, B, C, D. Now again I'll cancel the same signs, say same symbols, C will be cancelled with C, B will be cancelled with B, D will be cancelled with D, and now what is left in uh, the first set, that is E, so this is our answer. So these were the basic operations which we perform in the sets, and uh, this is uh, end for this lecture and we will discuss further in the future lectures inshallah.